Thank you very much, dear colleagues. Um, I will tell you a few words about Professor Kurt Wittig from his CV, and then a few words about uh, what he found uh, and why he, he got the Nobel Prize. Uh, the, few, the, the first thing, the, the CV, I don't know by heart, so I have to read this as well, but uh, 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 I know about, a bit about, uh, about the NMR, so I will tell you a few words uh, about uh, the NMR by heart. So Professor Wittig was born in Arbeck, Switzerland, in 1938, and grew up in the farmland area of Fleece in the Bernese Lake region. Um, actually, you can, you can read the CV, so I, 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 won't, I won't read it. So Professor Wittrich was here in, in uh, 2018, as far as I remember, and, and, and he got a really nice talk. That time I was present here in, in the first line, and, and uh, he's a kind of, don't misunderstand it, it's a very, he's a very natural guy. So I mean, he still can answer any question, you can ask anything, and, and he will answer it. So uh, really, a, really a nice, nice person. So. Um, uh, uh, he wanted to be a sportsman first, then um, finally he, he became fortunately a chemist. And uh, he started to make his PhD in, in, um, in Basel in, in 64. Then he moved to uh, California, Berkeley, and he worked with Professor uh, Robert Kornick, and he started to use NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy. And uh, at, the, at, the, at the beginning he, he studied the hydration of metal complexes. And then he, he worked for two years with, uh, with Professor Schumann at the Bell Telephone Laboratory in New Jersey. Uh, and then, um, then uh, he, he moved back to, uh, to Switzerland in uh, 1969 and joining to ETH Zurich, it's a Federal Institute of Technology. And he got a professorship there. Uh, he, he became the uh, professor of biophysics. He started to collaborate with Professor Richard Ernst. He is a really a big name on, on, on surface science and others on developing two-dimensional NMR uh, experiments. And mainly uh, uh, he, he studied the, the NOE. This is the nuclear overhauser effect, which is a very, very interesting and elegant thing. So I will tell you a few words about that. And then actually, uh, uh, Professor Wittrich received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in, in 2002 for his development of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy for determining the three-dimensional structure of biological macromolecules in solution. So this was the title. Uh, if somebody gets a, uh, get a title, uh, award, Nobel Prize, then you can imagine that he, he got a, a few more. Uh, I, I won't read all these things, but you can see that he, he got a few more uh, awards. Uh, and, um, I would like just to tell you a few words about NMR, what, what Professor Wittrich found. Um, uh, the, the, the nuclear overhauser effect is a very elegant way of, of determining uh, 3D structure of proteins. So, uh, if, you, if you imagine a protein, it, it, it is built uh, from uh, amino acids. And then it's very, very easy to, to determine the, the, the Q of the amino acids, which is the first, which is the second, and so on and so on. But it's not easy to determine the 3D structure, how the, how the for example, the alpha helix or the, the beta sheets or, and so on and so on are, are building the protein. So he, he started to uh, measure these kind of things. Just uh, I would like to show you, uh, this is the first 2D noisy spectrum. Of a protein, it was made uh, by Professor Wittrich in 1980, and you can see it's not easy to to, to interpret this kind of uh, noisy spectrum. But actually, from this uh, from this uh, spectrum, you can determine the three D structure of, of 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 the of the right hand side. There is a protein; it's a proteinase inhibitor 2A from bull seminal plasma. So, from this spectrum, you can determine that structure. It's not easy. And what is what is very elegant way in the noise is that. Um, uh, uh, you can see it's a decalin is a very, very simple molecule, but on the decalin I, I wanted to show you what is the Noe effect. If there is this decalin, when the two uh, hydrogen is close to each other, then you will, you will find the correlation between the two hydrogen in the NMR spectrum. If it is a trans decalin, when the hydrogen is opposite to each other, then you cannot see any, 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 any sign in the, in the spectrum. So this is the basics, and of course if you have a polymer, or sorry, a protein, and, and you have so many peaks. You know, the TD NMR is, is when you have an NMR spectrum on, on the uh, second and on the first uh, um, axis as well. And what is, uh, what is normal, then uh, if you have an NMR spectrum here and here, then you will have the, 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 this axis, which is normal. These are the peaks. 
But if you have peaks here, in this region here or here, this is symmetrical, then you, you can have some kind of um, um, correlation between, for example, the protons. This is the protein, uh, sorry, a proton and a mass spectrum. So um, this is a very, very simple example. This, this was published in the science in 1989 by Professor Wittrich. And you can see this is, a, this is a large protein, and there is just one uh, small part of the protein from N terminal to C terminal. A, B, C, D are the four points. It doesn't matter what is this uh, in, in this point, actually. And then you can see some kind of uh, secondary or uh, ternary structures, for example, here. Uh, it, you can see here that the N and the, car, uh, the C terminal in, in high 3D is very close to each other in space. If this is very close to each other, uh, maximum five angstrom could be the, 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 the distance, then you can find a, a peak somewhere here. So this is N terminal, this is the point A, is here. This is the C terminal, is point D, is here. So if there is correlation, then you can find the peak here, and you can see there is a peak here. This is symmetrical here. So if there is a peak here, then you, you will know that the A and D uh, amino acids are close to each other in, in space. So this is the basics what, what was found by Professor Wittrich. And I think this is, this is a really nice thing. I mean, that um, uh, uh, since that time, more than, I don't know, more than three, four, five thousand uh, uh, protein structure was determined by, by this method. So I mean, this is really a, really a big deal uh, in, in, in chemistry and in science. So uh, uh, definitely we can, we can say that Kurt Wittrich revolutionized the molecular understanding of protein structure with this, with this method. And the interactions in solutions through seminal uh, uh, contribution to NMR methodology and biological application. And the, the Nobel Prize in chemistry recognizes the accomplishment of, uh, of this vision, first elucidating over some 20, 25 years ago. This is, uh, this is not, not that old, actually. Um, that the solution NMR spectroscopy could be developed as a technique for atomic resolution determination of the structure and the uh, dynamics of biological macromolecules in solution. This is Professor Wittrich with the uh, you can see K uh, W in the, his letters. So you can you can see you know, uh, his presentation, uh, which is which is recorded, uh, and uh, uh, I, I, I hope that you will enjoy it. Thank you very much.